I want to tell you about Sita today. Sita is a very very ambitious girl. She works a lot and she is the leader at her company. Very respected person who is accomplishing a lot of things and getting a lot of name and fame within the company as well. While you would think that everything is going well for her, but the reality is she has been very very obese for a long time now. And there is only one reason for this. she has utter lack of interest in workout or the chores of eating the right kind of food or managing right kind of food for herself so because of this lack of interest i mean she would make plans that you know i want to go to the gym and everything of that sort but she would wake up and she would just not feel interested in going to the gym and it would always be kept off so while professionally she is going forward a lot on a personal level this huge obesity problem has become an issue for her and this lack of interest in solving this problem or doing the workout or eating the right kind of food results in a massive procrastination towards health which leads her to live a not so fulfilled life that's the case with many people out there some activities they do really well I mean you don't even have to instruct them you don't even have to be after them you just tell them and they are already after it they get it done before you even ask about it but some tasks they just can't get themselves to do it they just can't get the they get themselves to the desk and type that letter out or send that resume or you know write the chapter of the book out So why does this happen and how can we solve this problem? Hello everybody my name is Karthik Madugula Karma the life coach. So let's today look at how we can systematically break the problem of procrastination that happens because of lack of interest. So let's uh, dive into the definition uh, as a first step what exactly is this procrastination based on lack of interest so delaying because the particular subject doesn't interest you motivate you or energize you for example as we were talking about sita everything else she was doing well but just the matter of workout or you know uh, maintaining a diet or planning a proper diet just doesn't motivate her in fact it probably you know makes her feel that oh my god why does this need this much of an effort okay So why does this happen the reason is very simple it is a lack of enthusiasm for that subject matter since it feels dry obviously for sita eating a golgappa or in bhelpuri or you know a cake or a pastry feels so much more interesting and you know tasty than eating a salad or reducing portions or anything of that so it feels very very dry and there is a lot of lack of enthusiasm to make this happen so let's now look at how sita can break this issue and build a very very good quality of life for herself so let's look at the new perspective that sita could benefit out of let purpose be your fuel and not the particular kind of subject or task let's explain what this means everyone has a purpose in their life for example in my case my purpose is uplift human spirit and i'm very drunk on this purpose i live for this i breathe for this i wake up every single day and look forward to accomplish this purpose uh, in everything that i do and even including this video as well so the problem is there are certain kinds of tasks that we have mental aversion towards it's a psychological structure or if or a dislike we develop over a period of time dislike or disinterest we develop over a period of time but just because we don't like it doesn't mean it's not important even if we don't like it there are something that are very important and they need to be accomplished so how to do important things that you are not interested in that's where purpose comes into picture so remove yourself from the nature of the task and look at the purpose of your life If you are very excited about the purpose of your life and if you connect this task with that purpose so for example let us say i am not at all interested in working out or maintaining my health or whatever it is but i am very very energized by the idea of uplifting human spirit which i chose as the purpose of my life so 
to uplift human spirit if i can't stay here for long time in a healthy way it is not going to happen i i will not be able to accomplish this mission so by tying this workout to my purpose as a necessity then i can easily do this task i'll find the enthusiasm and the motivation necessary because it is directly tied to my purpose so any task that you want to accomplish if you tie it to your purpose it will become far more easier for you to do and you will feel, feel and find the motivation so in sita's case for example she's she's an ambitious woman and everything of that sort but if she doesn't take care of her health she may drop in a hospital for a month or two due to various health issues which would take her away from what she should be doing so she should go through that inconvenience of doing what she doesn't like because it will directly affect her living her mission and if i have to say this very simply if you want to eat bitter gourd karela obviously doesn't taste good but if you mix it in dal it makes it more digestible and easy to eat so what is the dal of your purpose in which you can mix the karela of the inconvenient or disinteresting tasks and thus easily accomplish them away this is what you have to think so if you tie everything to your purpose then interested or not interested will be will not be a problem anymore because everything becomes important because it is tied to your purpose so like every time i will leave you with a practice on this one so let's look at the practice here is a practice what i want you to do is if you don't have a purpose already develop a very very strong purpose and connect start connecting everything to that purpose start connecting your family time to that purpose start connecting your health to that purpose start connecting your marks exams your interviews your you know whatever you fear or not interested in and are delaying the moment you start connecting it with your purpose that purpose makes this task important and you will start feeling like doing it so this is how you can break the procrastination that is caused by lack of interest and how exactly you're doing it is basically by replacing the lack of interest with importance of the task because that's the only way you can actually live your purpose so replacing lack of interest with importance and thus growing beyond nature of tasks or mental likes and dislikes if all you do is what you like you will live a very very severely limited life you have to be able to do what you don't like as well because those things turn out to be important and if you tie it to your purpose feeling important about that task becomes easier So friends thank you so much for watching and you here hope you learned a great deal you know please comment in the comment section below and let me know how you are going to do those inconvenient disinteresting tasks if they are important and please like share comment and subscribe so that this message reaches to someone that is in need of it thank you so much and you have a good day